Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and in this last part where we talk about the um, clean install of Windows 10 Creators Update, one last thing to consider is once it's installed and working, like you see here, um, what would be the first pointers, what would be the first things to do to make sure that you start off in the right foot? Well, first of all, before thinking of installing any of your software, uh, anything, the first thing that I think you should do is simply go on the bottom right to the notifications area, go into the all settings, and here, make sure that you go into the update and security, and once you're here, just check for the latest updates. So click here to check for updates. Check out if anything is going to download, if you see cumulative updates that want to uh, install, let these updates install themselves. This will ensure that before you start, before you install anything, your latest updates to Windows 10 will be there. All the security updates will be there. And that is probably the first thing that you should consider before anything else. Then, another little tip that I think is important. Customize a little bit your experience. So go into the start menu on the bottom left. It's a cluttered experience in Windows 10 when you don't actually do anything. Everything is here and there's like you know half if not m most of these things you'll never use. So one of the things that I think is important to consider remove all the tiles that are not useful to you. So you know, go ahead and here, for example, Xbox. You're not going to play Xbox games or, or games in general. Right click and click the unpin from start button. Um, you know, do that. Uh, do that with all the apps that you will not use and unpin them. Take the time to do so because this will help you in basically, um, you know, getting a more interesting experience by removing everything that's not useful and instead of, you know, leaving that kind of very very cluttered tile stuff. Then of course the next step would be you know install your favorite browser. By default Microsoft Edge is the browser but you might not want Microsoft Edge so you can use it to download your favorite browser Google Chrome, Firefox, whatever it is. Uh, you know you can use that and customize that uh, to your liking. That's another part of uh, the experience that you should, of course, uh, check out. One last uh, thing before you install your browser, you can start, you know, there's the Microsoft Edge page. There's a few things that they want you to talk about, but they want to show you. You can check that out uh, uh, if you want to, but, you know, just go and get your favorite browser if Edge is not what you wish. If you are using Internet Explorer, you can find it by simply typing internet on your Cortana search box at the bottom and you'll see that Internet Explorer is there and you can right click on it to actually pin to the taskbar if that's what you want. Be careful because they look alike so it's easy to mistake Edge and Explorer and that happens very often at my clients. So these are a few little things that you should check for. After that you can start slowly installing your favorite um, you know, software. Start by installing your hardware. If you've got a printer, plug it in, see if it detects and installs itself. If you have disks or if you have files to, you know, the, the install files for certain devices, of course, go slowly one at a time. Make sure that you restart after each and every single thing that you install for a very simple reason. If something goes wrong, you'll know it's that device, that program. If you install a bunch of programs or a bunch of devices at the same time, you know what's going to happen? If something goes wrong, you won't know which one was the problematic software or um, you know hardware that you have. Finally, uh, for most devices, most hardware, Windows 10 has a driver. So let Windows 10 choose or download its favorite driver for that device. If you've got uh, you know, if you're a desk, you have a desktop and you've got these driver disks for the motherboard and stuff, do not install these. Look for 
uh, wait, wait for Windows to do. If Windows works well, everything works well, you don't have to do anything. Don't install extra drivers or drivers from these devices or these disks unless there are specific drivers really required for something to work in your system. And after that, of course, remember, you've got an antivirus already, which is the um, Windows Defender. It's there by default, hidden behind that little arrow here in the desktop. Uh, so why not, you know, make sure that this works well, has a little green check mark. You can install the third-party antivirus if that's what you wish. Some people like to have other antiviruses. But remember that security is you before anything else. And that antivirus has a very limited protection. So uh, you are better off with your thinking and your own uh, way of just being careful on the internet and not downloading everything. And uh, you know what? Enjoy your experience. Enjoy and look at my videos. There's lots of videos that I show you how to customize different parts of Windows. And remember that uh, one last thing there is, of course, as you saw, this settings page. But remember that you can right click on the start button, and there you will have access also to. Um, it's not there. Huh? I thought oh, they removed it. That's interesting. Uh, simply type it in the bottom because it was there before. Um, I, I'd not noticed it's not there. So you just type control panel in the Cortana search box and control panel also exists if you're of the, you know, old times using the control panel. That's still there also. And hope you enjoy Windows 10 Creators Update. Look at my videos. There's lots of new features that I already highlighted. More to come on the videos. And uh, hey, hope that uh, you followed these instructions. If you did and installed Windows 10, clean install by yourself, thanks to all these instructions, please let me know. It'd be interesting to see uh, what um, you know happened and how it worked out. And I uh, hope you enjoy my series on clean install of Windows 10 Creators Update. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And thank you for watching.